everybody, this is uh, George from the Keeper's Hive and we're back at the Winter Turret Apiary in uh, Northern Delaware where today it is the second week of February and we're here to check on the bees. Uh, we did a quick check, uh, went down the all eight and all eight are still alive so we're really excited about that today. Uh, so today we're gonna, it's, it's about 55 degrees and the bees are flying so we're gonna do our first hive inspection of the year on a one queen keeper hive. And when we do the inspection, there's basically four things that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at bees, how many frames of bees are there. I expect to see somewhere about five to seven frames of bees in most of these hives. Brood, uh, is there brood? Uh, there should be brood. Uh, the queen probably started laying uh, at the end of January, so we should see some cap brood in these hives. How much? Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, the third is food, which is the most important thing still because as the bees start to make brood, they'll start using the last of the food, can, food that they have stored up over the winter. So we really wanna make sure these hives don't run out of food. So we'll be looking at uh, how much uh, nectar, honey, and uh, pollen is on the frames. And lastly is disease. Uh, it is uh, very early in the season. Uh, we did our oxalic dribble in December. So I'm hoping that we don't see any signs of uh, disease in the hives. Uh, so again, it's bees, brood, food, and disease with each hive inspection. So uh, I'm gonna uh, probably get on a veil. I'm gonna get my uh, seat so I can do my seated hive inspections and uh, come join me. Thanks guys. Okay, welcome back everybody. We're gonna uh, take a look at hive number eight today. Uh, as you can see, the bees are flying in and out. Uh, they're bringing back uh, basically three different kinds of pollen today. Uh, an orange pollen, which I think is snowdrops, a gray pollen, which I think is silver maple, and a light yellow uh, pollen, which may be aconite. So it's always a good sign to see the bees foraging and what they're bringing back. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna open up this hive and see what's going on, and hopefully inspect all the frames. Uh, I did have a smoker, but my propane torch was out of fuel, so I'm gonna do this without a smoker today, and. Uh, we're just going to work slow and carefully, okay? So let's get started here. Don't forget your bail. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Classic George. Yeah, classic me. Okay, so we will... So again, this is a this is a hive that's been overwintered. It's got the brood chamber, and then the medium spacer box is empty, and the medium spacer box has some emergency food in it. So as you see, we're just going to easily open up the hinge roof take off the observation panel and take a look inside and we we can see we can see bees right underneath the observation panel which is a, a good sign uh, so we're going to get started here we're going to work slow the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to take off the observation panel like so and we're again right into the brood chamber here without really disturbing the bees uh, we're going to work a little bit quickly today because it's not super warm out. So again, the first thing that you want to do when you do your inspection is get a sense of how many bees you have. You can get that idea from how many bees are flying in and out of the hive and you can quickly look at the uh, observation. I call it a bee. Uh, right underneath here and, and surely the brood chamber is not full, but it's got a pretty good number of bees in it. So that's a, that's a good sign. So again, and the bees tend to look very uh, calm uh, right now. So we're gonna, again, simply take off the, simply take off the, uh, the uh, frame protectors. And you can see there's almost no propolis on them. And this is the first time uh, that we've taken off these frame protectors and in, in probably since uh, November. So about three months. And you can see how, how easily they come out come out here. So again, um, a tiny bit of propolis. Sometimes it's good just to scrape them off. So here we go, right? So we're gonna, we expect it, uh, to see a brood in this hive, but the brood is probably gonna be in the center of the cluster. And we're gonna look to see how much food they have on either side. So again, we're gonna, let's start with taking out, taking out frame number two. We're gonna leave frame eight in there. So we're gonna take out frame two. We're gonna try not to jar too much. And again, you're gonna see there's, there is still a little bit of honey left on frame two uh, from the winter, not much, uh, but there is a little bit. So that's frame two. 
again, we're, we're trying to work as, as calmly and slowly as possible here. And this is uh, frame three. So again, you can see on this frame, it's really nice. You can see some wet nectar on this frame and some capped honey. So they're already uh, sort of bringing in some uh, nectar into this hive, which is great. These bees are, are super calm the way I like them. Uh, so again, a food frame. So right, so frame two and frame three were food frames. Uh, now, now we're getting into where I think we're gonna see some brood. Uh, again, we're working very calmly as, as you see, nice and slow where we're not jarring the bees. And we're gonna take a look at, this is frame four. And you're gonna see frame four has a, a fair amount of wet nectar in it, as you can see. Uh, they, they, they've got, I don't see any brood yet on this frame. So it's mainly, again, a, a, a nectar frame. Uh, not much pollen on this frame, but a fair amount of a nectar. A little bit of pollen on some of the cells. Uh, so that is frame four. Again, so my goal is to, my goal is to not make these bees too upset today. So now we got uh, five, six, seven, and eight that are underneath the queen excluder. So we're gonna, we're gonna pull frame five out. Again, we don't need to remove anything above to get to frame five. And I can already see on the edge of frame five, we're gonna get to see some brood on this frame. So again, very carefully, you're just going to not jar. You're going to slowly move the frame out from underneath the queen excluder. And you're gonna take a look at this frame and you're gonna see brood. So you can see the cat brood on this frame. Nice cat brood on this frame. So again, nice worker brood on this frame and again on the other side plenty of of worker brood on this frame uh, nice flat capping so I don't see the queen but clearly the queen is there there's lots of brood and again you see around the you see around the brood nest there's there's nectar so they're already bringing in some nectar or moving some honey around to to feed these bees now we take a quick look at the larvae on there they look nice and pearly white they look healthy uh, again not an ample amount of nectar and pollen coming in but there's nothing wrong with the health of those neck uh, of those so we are again a nice a nice nice looking frame right uh, of, of cat brood and nectar so uh, we're going to do one more just because and again uh i'm where i see the queen so if you can look in there you can see the little blue dot in there see see dave right there Yes. Right there. Can you zoom in? Yep, I got it. So there's the queen. She's on a brood frame, uh, moving around, which is good to see her, that she survived the winter. So let's take, let's pull one more frame just to show we can, I think. Again, when you're doing an inspection, you want to sort of work slow, not jar the frames. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to do the same here. And you're always listening, right? You're always listening for how the bees react to your presence inside the hive. So, so, so let's give them a second. They, there was a little bit of fondant above uh, that came through when we moved that frame. So a little bit of, a little bit of bustle to the bees. And they, they really haven't been disturbed uh, for the last three months with any hive inspection. So, you know, they're, they're starting to get used to me again so we're going to pull this frame out just straight up just like you do any frame and you can see just loads of open larvae on that frame just loads of loads of larvae where did the queen go dave we had the queen just a second ago there the she bottom. is oh i see her she's walking along the bottom she's a little bit slim they do slim down for winter but once they start laying she'll be refed and, and laying well so you can see all the wet nectar uh around uh the brood, which is great. Not much pollen stores in there. The pollen is just starting to come in. Uh, again, some capped honey on, on this side. So basically uh, two frames of brood and, uh, and a bunch of nectar and not a lot of pollen stores, but overall happy. So again, um, four things when we're looking at a hive inspection, we're looking at bees, there's probably six frames of bees in this hive. Brood, there's two frames of brood. Food does have ample, it still has some capped honey 
it has plenty of nectar uh, not much pollen if you really wanted to boost this population up you could add some pollen sub to this we'll get the, we'll get to that in another in another video and I saw an occasional high beetle or two running around uh, inside this hive uh, but for the most part no disease and uh, you know healthy looking larvae so and I, I have I'll be honest I took there's this thing I did take one sting today Dave there you go proof, <laughs> proof that you're mortal proof that I do get stung occasionally so I did take one sting um,